come back to the bucket list. Ah, we only have a few more video prompts to get through, and then we'll be done. Just a few short weeks. Let's not waste time, and let's get down to it. Yes. All right. I've got a pick. And ladies and gentlemen, drum roll, please. Oh, <laughs> uh, the inner pyromaniac would like to introduce this episode's prompt. I'm going to be starting a fire. Safely, I've got a fire pit. I'm not doing anything super crazy. All that's out of the way. I'll meet you guys outside, and we're going to start a wonderful, beautiful fire. All right. Here's my fire pit. As you can see, I've gathered all the materials necessary. So building a fire. You want to start making a pile that goes incrementally in the types of materials you have. So you want to start small. Under kindling. It's the small stuff. So like leaves, dry leaves, dry bark. We'll move on to bigger sticks, really bigger sticks, and then planks. I also want to like take this and put it together and make this sort of mesh. Catches fire far easier. One of the main things of fire is oxygen. So being enough space for air inside this is vital to keeping the fire going. Otherwise it's just gonna die out. And this was the bow and arrow from the other episode. Why? I'm broken and being used for a fire. Because, uh, this is my new bow. Nice. Folks, and that's how you start a fire.
Alright, well, I wouldn't be having a fire if I wasn't cooking something. So I've got onions, and I've got a sweet potato. So we're sort of creating an oven around the sweet potato. Skin should help prevent it from burning. I want to go over some fire rules because obviously fire is very dangerous and you can burn your house down, you can burn yourself, you can burn down the forest if you're not careful. Uh, there's a lot of things that can go wrong if you're not careful with fire. Uh, number one, always watch the fire. Don't be dumb. Don't leave it unattended. You leave it unattended, you're going to burn something down that you didn't intend to burn. Uh, number two, don't stick your hands in the fire. If that's something that you absolutely have to hear, you should be within like 10 feet of the fire. Fire burns, fire is hot, uh, in other news, water is wet, the sky is blue. Always be ready to put the fire out, have water, fire extinguishers, something, that in case the fire does start to become a problem, you've got a way to quickly extinguish it. Don't use water on a grease fire. Don't use water on a grease fire. That, if you don't know, for some reason makes more fun. Don't do that. Don't mess around with fire. Fire will mess you up. I know this looks extremely burnt, but I didn't have any more tinfoil after the uh, after the sword episode, so. The skin burns, but these things have a thick skin. So the inside should be done. Peel off all the charts. It feels soft, I think it's actually cooked. Yeah, it's cooked. A little hard to cook onions out there on the fire, especially with a short stick like this. I want to try it though, just to make sure it's good. Oh yeah. Yep, sweet potato. I really don't know what to say. The skin actually seems to provide a kind of barrier between the actual inside of the potato but you can't keep it on there that long. I kind of take it back. It doesn't need spices. Pretty flavorful on chum. It's also important to use certain kinds of firewood because if you start throwing things on that have chemicals and crap in them, uh, you're probably gonna make your food taste like that. Fire, cook some of these, sweet potato. I don't even cook them like this. From another guy on YouTube, that's a, his uh, content's really good. He does a lot of like, I don't know if it's like you would say survival stuff. It's called primitive technology. And he does a lot of stuff in the way people back in the day, uh, 2000, 3000 years ago, were doing stuff. Uh, making mud huts and uh, cooking sweet potatoes and yams and fire. I'd really recommend him. All I did was make fire and throw things into it, so I think that's going to do it for today. Thank you guys for watching, and remember, don't do this at home. Well, I mean, you can give a fire pit and you have your adult, don't burn your house down, don't be dumb, don't mess with fire, because you don't want fire to mess with you. Stay safe, see you guys next time.